Hi guys, uh, this video is regarding a problem of HTTP and HTTPS connection. So basically I wanted to redirect every traffic from HTTP to HTTPS. And my website is hosted on uh, you know AWS with Django. Or maybe it can be any backend or frontend, it doesn't matter. So the problem is something like this. So, so see, this is not this is an HTTP request without an SSL uh, added to it. And if I open an HTTPS, so it has an encrypted SSL request with it. So I want to, uh, you know, uh, change the request from this to by default to uh, redirect it to this request. So for that, I've configured, you know, few things before that. So a certificate should be added for your domain. For my case, it's nihachirita.com, and uh, you know, it should be issued. Okay, and for another thing is the route 53 management. So for this, uh, you know the record should be created, and these are the record. The C names are you know added from the this uh, the credential uh, the certificate manager, and this the name A record is the load balancer name, which we will be seeing later. So uh, this is how you know the uh, everything is binded together. Okay, so once you you know write the load balancer name here, and the you know this is the Elastic Beanstalk, and all the uh, the my application is running from here. And if you know if I click on this link, this is being redirected to that one. So the uh, the problem which we are facing right now can be solved by you know if we uh, change the load balancer. So right now the load balancer is a classic load balancer and in order to solve this we need to you know change the load balancer to an application one. So because in like 2018 after 2018 Amazon you know added this feature for us to you know directly configure this problem. So let's move let's see how this is going. So as you can see, this is a classic load balancer. So all we need to do is migrate this, and a wizard is already there for us to help us out. So this is it, and let's leave it like this, and it's done. So once this is done, we are getting a provisioning state, and for this. So let it do its job. By that time, you can see there are two ports, 80 and 443 open. Okay. Now we need this 80 port to redirect every traffic to the 443. Okay. So once we move here, we should click here, and we should edit this rule. And instead of forwarding it, let's redirect it. Should be 443, I think. Yeah, 443. So, yeah, and let's update this. Okay. So, I'm going to pause this video and let this provision to get into an active state. Okay. So, now the state has changed to an active state for this load balancer. The next thing we need to do is we need to copy this DNS name, the A record name, and we need to, you know, change the A record in the route ma route management uh, route 53 management settings so you can see an a record is already mentioned for the different the classic load balancer and we need to change it to the application load balancer now so let's click here and you should you can click here on no on this and you can you know it will automatically suggest you the load balancer you want to choose so we are choosing the application load balancer now and let's save this record okay and let's few seconds for this to update. So let's monitor this. No. So yes, it has started receiving requests. So I think this should work now. And you know, it redirected to the other page, and HTTPS is also working now. And the last thing. Uh, Great. So yes, as you can see, 
now every traffic is redirected to HTTPS. Thank you for watching. Hello friends.